today we're going to be doing something completely different. Uh, this is a little kit called Augustev and it's from the Machine and Krieger Fantasy World. And I was given this kit by a friend who who bought it and it was already been it had already been put together and painted and he he soaked it to um, to get the paint off and so he could redo it and the glue came apart as well. So what we've ended up with is the kit back in pieces and he's put it all in this bag here for me and kept the clear parts separate in this bag and uh, yeah and he sent it to me to see what I could do with it so I'm just going to have a bit of fun with this one and see what we can come up with um, it's basically a suit of armour like a mechanical suit of armour and uh, I might have a bit of fun weathering it up and so on but um, yeah I'll make a start on it and we'll see where we end up of painted with a base color of green and I'll put a bit a little bit of dusting up around his feet and up the, the bottom parts of his legs and once I got to this stage I realized there were some parts missing from the kit there is a, there's a plate that sits in the front here that's not here not in the not in the kit um, there's a window that fits in here as well which it is in the kit but it's it's broken in half um, so I've decided to make this fella as a knocked out Gustav. I'm going to have him laying down in some sort of a pose with his face to the ground so you won't see that those parts are missing. The, the window I'll still put, I might put on the ground beside it so it looks like the guy that was in the suit knocked the window out and climbed out. And uh, so with the base coat on now I'm going to go around and start doing a little bit of uh, little bit of weathering. I'm going to do some chips, some chip paint. Now all I'm going to do to do these chips you won't see it on the video but you will see it in the photos so I'm going to be using a lighter colour of this base colour I'm going to just take the base colour put some white in with it and lighten it right down and I'll go around edges and just put like little intermediate marks and scratch marks and stuff like that and when I've done that and that's dried I'll take my AAA brush and I'll use some I'll mix some dark brown with black which will make a, a an ugly grey colour. Then I'll go around with that fine brush and I'll just put in the middle of those white patches or those lighter patches I'll just put on in the middle of that I'll put in these this dark paint and that will give the the, the appearance of a of a paint chip as in the bit in the middle's gone down to the metal but around it there's still like chip paint like there's this a lighter colour paint where the chip has been caused. And again, you won't see anything on the video, but I will take some close-ups as I go and show you what I mean. And uh, so I'll get on with that, take some photos. When we get to the next step, I'll let you know. So our little Gusto model is, is finished now 
Uh, I am going to make a base to put him on, obviously, because he's laying face down, so I need to tell the story. So I'll have to make a base with him lying down. I'll have a few little broken parts sitting around him and that. But when I do that base, uh, I will do a video of that as well. Uh, overall, it was it was a really um, enjoyable experience putting this thing together. It went together very well, and we're doing something different. And and the fact that it, it's like a an armor model, you can actually weather it up and, and beat it about and do whatever you like. I've put some uh, laser burn holes through the side here where he's been shot and fallen over, and done a fair bit of chipping and stuff around the feet and legs. So yeah, I had a, had quite a bit of fun putting him together. So I'll go down, I'll put a dull coat on this now, I'll take the uh, the masking off the windows and I'll take some photos and put them up at the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed this build, it's something a little bit different, I know not everyone's into sci-fi stuff but I found it quite interesting and enjoyable to do. But until next time, 